folks, Comics Gatekeeper here, and we're doing Preacher 48. Ah, looks like Quinn Cannon's been roasted alive by lightning, the hand of God, if you will. What's he got? His wiener. <laughs> yeah, he went back to the factory, if I remember correctly, and Jesse uh, went after him. He told the townsfolk to go home. Hopefully they're going to get rid of those massive bombs. And, um, yeah, Jesse got jumped at the end by Miss Oatlash, who's going to torture, sexually abuse, and rape him while wearing a Nazi uniform. Hmm. All words I never thought I'd say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yes, uh, I went on a live stream, uh, the other day. Uh, with uh, CG UK, uh, I think it was on Aria Black's channel, though it could have been on Bristolian Dave's. They just sent me a link and I followed it, and then all of a sudden I was live streaming. But yeah, uh, once I find out what channel I'm on and whether or not the live stream has actually been put on as a normal video, uh, I'll um, I'll put a, put up a link if you want to see me, you know, offending people, chatting shit, and making various accusations. <laughs> Oh yes, so hopefully it promoted the book. But yes, now obviously my nights are going to be spent looking for more live streams to go on to get this book to the finish line. Right, anyway, let's uh, delve into the comic. Oh, for the love of fuck. Patience, darling. I'm getting oh. ready for you. Don't start without me. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, Jesus is in an SS uniform. And she's got hot coals with, like, branding irons and shit next to it. What's that? She's got a Nazi eagle on the bed stand. Where, who the hell would make that for her? Someone would have to have, like, moulded that and welded it on and stuff. Uh, anyway. He's dug. Get me the fuck out of here, I think he's saying. Ah, my darling, my furor of love. Oh, fuck. Mm, nice pants. Since the moment I saw you, I have wanted you. This will be the love of the gods, darling of Valkyrie. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Your entry will be like lightning. You will evade me and occupy me. And just when I can take no more, you will open up a second front. This will be Blitzkrieg. <laughs> In your... Oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> She's a rogan. <laughs> Fuck me hard and call me Eva. I'm assuming that means Eva Braun. I don't understand why she's called Eva Braun, to be honest, because it's generally accepted that she married Hitler near the end. So why isn't she Eva Hitler? Uh, anyway. Oh, she... Wait, what, what, what did I miss? Oh, he's got his... Oh, we just missed out on a page. That, no, that's the next page. That's weird. Let me get back. So the dog loosened his strap, and next thing you see, she's tied up. You're a very sick woman. <laughs> I like it like this. You cannot escape this, Jesse Custer. It's destiny. It's divine right. I owe you on Skeeter. All I've got to do now is get out of here before anyone sees me wearing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really the person who didn't want to see you wearing that. Anything you want to tell me about? Very long story. What's this sorry son of a bitch doing? It's kind of a long story too. I thought there were usually two of these assholes. He's in the back. Oh fuck! Shot in the head. Guess that just leaves Queen Cannon. He ain't going to be too hard to find. Don't go in there. He's got something in there. He made a stun guard while he went in. He wouldn't let no one see it, but I heard terrifying noises. I swear to God, there's something awful in there. Cindy, would you please wait out here? Smear the cheese. Smear the cheese. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know what any of that means. Say the name. Say the name. We're finally going to see it, aren't you? Are you ready for the big reveal, boys and girls? Oh, Christ. 
this. Sometimes I hate my YouTube job. Right, here we go. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to be something like this. But oh, God damn. There's just no preparing for... Are they chickens made to be tits? Sausage fingers? Chicken mouth. And a wig, of course. You need a blonde wig. He likes blondes. And he's fucking it. Wow. We. I imagine you'd have to replace the parts uh, often because of, well, decay. Why the fuck am I dwelling on this page for? It's hideous. Uh, nice tits, love. <laughs> He's groping the chicken tits. I've seen some fucked up things in my time. But then it takes the fucked up cookie. If this ain't a mercy killing, I'd sure like to know what is. Oh, he cracked his fucking neck. <laughs> Do the honours. My pleasure. Would have been a shame to waste all that napalm. Oh, Deputy Daggett, I guess our job here is done. I just don't know if we did it as legal as I promised. I think we were close enough, Sheriff Custer. I swear. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Christ, you scared me. How did you get in? There are no locks on the doors, Gunther. You want to know being a, such a champion of small town Texas. Jesse, it's nearly 4am. What is this about? I found a book in Mrs. Oatlash's place this morning before I sent her things into the bin. And the old gal's got shit you wouldn't believe. I thought maybe there's something in there about Gunther's brother. They do have a major hands. Younger brother, Gunther. He joined JG53 but was shot down and killed by hurricanes in October without having opened his score. Oh, so he was... Ah, oh, that's a shame. He wasn't an ice fighter pilot, he was just a... He was a noob that was unlucky enough to get splashed straight away. His body washed ashore at Wissant three days later. Oh, right, hang on. So he's not Gunther. Gunther was a pilot too, but... Yeah. Who the hell are you? I called the immigration people. They got you coming into San Diego under the name Vanderpol in June 46, which is three years later than you said the truth. Please give me a chance. Oh, it's God voice time, I think. My name is Siegfried Vetchel. How did you? I found Hans' name in the records. He wasn't even a footnote in history. I never thought I'd be caught out. Why not just invent a name? I needed, I wanted there to be a kind of truth for me, as much as for anyone else. Pilot loses his brother, a sharp kind of fella. Falls his bosses, is sending him to spy in America. Real rogue, nice safe, sort of ex-Nazi. Do you know what a police battalion was? They were the boys that went in fighting. After the fighting was over, the Wehrmacht occupied territory, then the police battalions came in and turned the locals for folks into slaves. I just fucking play and killed them. The whole villages, regions across Poland, the Balkans, Crimea. It went on, never ending. Dig a pit outside of town, line them up and get machine gunners. And later, Christ, later in the camps. I had... I had to. They gave me orders. I had to. You don't understand what it was like. Don't even fucking try that. See this new fella in town, this redneck sheriff stirring up shit. He said, hey, why don't I fuck with this asshole a bit? You tell your goddamn story and it sounds real good. It's even funny and charming in places, and even partly true. And everyone else accepted it. It throws him off the scent. You really go to town with all that Men of Honor stuff and the down-home bullshit myth of America? I've got to hand it to you, Gunther. One look at me and you knew just which buttons to press. It's all true, Jesse. All of it, I meant every word. I do love this country and I always have. 
America's my second chance. I've done terrible things and I've committed nightmares against humanity. But I escaped from that time, came here and I love this place. And after all this time you came, you come from, you are of America, you came here to do what was right and you wouldn't compromise or sell out to the devil. I knew that our friendship and your acceptance of me would mean I would be redeemed. You, you can see past unimaginable horrible to find forgiveness. You can reach out to find a friend. Oh fuck, is he making him a noose? There's things that can't ever be put right and you know it. But go to hell. I'm sorry your brothel burned down, Jesse. <laughs> oh, she's nuts. Ah, oh, don't worry. It wasn't much of a brothel to begin with. Are you going to leave us soon? I saw a big bag packed on the front seat of your elephant. Yep, all my worldly goods. Hmm, the little bastard didn't leave me a pot to piss in. I'll miss you. I think a lot of people will. I'll miss you too, Laurie. Five across, John Wayne, D something. Toby. Yay, dude. <laughs> You're leaving then? You haven't told anyone? Ah, just the folks I'm close to. Which might be less than you think. Oh, the, Me the Mexican fella lived, thank God. They can keep calling him a beaner and a wet back and all that other shit. Long into the future. I know, I know, it's the safe. Only now, with my friend being fucking shot, do I see the folly of being a fat old bigoted heifer. You recall that little talk we had about the difficulty of affecting change? Yeah. Ain't you. Ain't seen you since the funeral, Mum. I know the two of you were kind of close. I thought I was used to loss by now. But the sheer logic of it, a man like Gunther so content with his lot, so calm and rational, many ups into something like that. There are thoughts that drive you crazy. <laughs> hmm. I see he never told anyone else the truth about him. What are you going to do? I'm going to find some things I need to know, then I'm going to finish the job I've got to do. Then I'm going to bring my darling home to meet my mum. It's a cold, hard world out there, Jessie. Please take care. When I went into the swamp in the asylum, and I had no idea why. I came here and put it in a drawer, and I forgot about it until you arrived. Your father gave me this the night before he died, just in case he told me, for when you were a man. That's his Medal of Honour. Ah, uh, I was going to stop by and see you tomorrow before I left. I know you're kind, gone like a thief in the night. <laughs> Jesse, you're floating to crime, then you better deputise your mum and lock us both up. I knew your problem right after that night in the office. The next morning I brought it up and changed the subject as quick as you could. You're in love with someone else, Jesse. Can you tell? <laughs> Damn. That's why I've got to go. Are oh, we going to kiss? Nice. Oh, we pinned a star on her. Good night and God bless. Well, it looks like our little diversion in salvation is over and Jesse's getting back to the main plot. <laughs> Side quest concluded. I'm sure there'll be others. Hang on, how many more uh, issues have we got left? Uh, hmm, let me think. 13 by my reckoning. It ends at 61, I think. Yeah, so... I imagine he's got to uh, find a way to meet up with Fifi, Trixie Bell. Then, of course, he's got to uh, find God and ask him, what the fuck, motherfucker? So, yeah, that's... Yeah, 12 or 13 issues sounds about right. Okay, folks. Uh, take care. Later.